functional tricks that you can use in your music anytime you want. So why is this important? Well, not only are these emotional tricks fairly easy to use, but they're very effective. So whether you're composing your own music or playing with friends, who doesn't want to make an audience get the feels? And to show just how effective these emotional tricks are, we'll be conducting our very own psychological experiment. So let's do this. We'll be looking at three different emotional tricks that will help you make your music sound lovely and romantic, terrifyingly tense, or super sad. Mm. To illustrate their effect, we'll be exploring something called the Kuleshov effect. Now, what is that, you say? Well, the Kuleshov effect is an editing effect in movies and was theorized by filmmaker Lev Kuleshov in the 1910s to 1920s. Long time ago. Basically, it's a mental phenomenon by which viewers derive meaning or create their own subtext when they see two shots cut together rather than a single shot by itself. Hmm. Okay, so in layman's terms, if you see a picture of a normal face and then show a picture of something else, a person will create their own meaning and feeling about the face depending on the second picture shown. So for example, if we saw a picture of me and then a picture of food, you may deduce that I'm hungry. Makes sense. I'm yeah. usually hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you could then use that exact same picture of me, but this time show a picture of a total mess in the kitchen, mm. and you might feel that I'm mad. Mm -hmm. well, that would make me mad. That would make me mad too. Hitchcock demonstrated the Kuleshov, did I get it? Yes. Effect by using this picture <laughs> and then showing this one. He then showed the exact same picture. But this time he showed this picture. So what he found was that even though the first image was the exact same, people felt differently about him based on the image that followed. So what we're going to do is try our very own experiment. So we're gonna use the exact same scene, but each time you'll hear different music underneath it created using emotional tricks on the piano, which we will teach you how to do afterwards. So here we go. Okay, so we've created a little mini video to explore what emotions we can put underneath. This first emotion we're going to play with is sad. Now, I'm going to be using a minor chord, and I'm going to try and stay on that minor chord as much as I can, just to make sure I get that sad sound. So let's see how that sounds with G minor. Okay, so that was a little sad, but we're gonna move into something more romantic. Again, remember, we're going to be using the same video, and this time I'm going to play some more major chords, and I'm going to try and use some major seven chords just to make it sound a bit more uplifting and romantic. So let's hear how that sounds.
Okay, that sounded more romantic. I was using seventh chords. Again, that was the same video. Pretty crazy. This last one we're going to look at is a little bit more sinister. It's a little bit more uh, spooky. So what I'm going to use here is octaves. I'm going to be rolling octaves in my left hand constantly through the whole thing. I'm just playing some, uh, some nice color notes with my right hand to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's see how it sounds spooky. Okay, so was that not incredible? I was super sad. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> the first, uh, the first one, I almost needed a, like a box of tissues. <laughs> it was like uh, my heart was upset. Yeah, it, it's funny because like I'm just chilling playing piano in the video, you and it were, just you were really sad. enjoying yourself. And it was sad. It sounded like like here's a gift. And my I'm heart really... was breaking. Yeah. it was like I had this whole like, storyline going of like this is clearly like their final goodbye. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was okay, that was sad. All with minor. All with minor, minor chords. Ooh. And then what was the next one? The next one was romantic. <laughs> it was really hard not to laugh because it's so absurd. But it looked romantic. Yeah. It, so it looked... was like those like that that glance at like the mm -hmm. end. I was like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so that was. Oh, that was man. really funny. Yep. Okay, and then the final one. Again, it was really hard not to laugh because it was so seriously scary. It was spooky, yeah. Like... I don't know what you were giving me. I, I was... Clearly, there was going to be, like, an explosion. Maybe. Or poison. Who knows? That's all those low octaves really just no, set I the tone. I was really, really freaked out. Mm -hmm. So, I think that our experiment was a success. I think so. Like, yes. I feel like anybody watching that would, would be... It would be difficult to believe. I mean, we all know it, but it would be difficult to believe. Like, that was the same... Very short film, mm -hmm. three times in a row. Yeah, same one. And it was a completely different adventure every time. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was good times. Sam's got some skills for Thank the you very story. Much. Thank you very much. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, so I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, tell us what your favorite version was. Ooh, yeah, that's the yeah. sad one, the like happy romantic one, or <laughs> the suspenseful version. Um, and then, yeah, mm -hmm. comment, comment below. Ooh. Tell us your favorites, and if you want more on these kinds of things. You're gonna learn more about like how to take the things you're feeling and express them on the piano. Come visit us over at piano.com because mm -hmm. we've got all the lessons you need. Sam and I are always there answering questions. We oh. provide support directly to our members. So we're here for you. Um, happy practicing and we'll see you around. Mm -hmm.